All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kurtabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kurtimus Program mod, which is being made by forum user Roger Wang86. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely little selection of parts to help you recreate the SLS Block 1B here in Kerbal Space Program, which is pretty neat. So let's uh, jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark 1-3 command pod for size comparison's sake, and then turn on our mod filter, just leaving on Kurtimus Program, and head down to the fuel category where we have our first part. But before we do, I should mention the prerequisites for this, as this is actually meant to be sort of a companion mod to the existing redirect mod, basically a nice little expansion of extra parts to bring more cool things for the SLS. Now on top of that, you are also going to need the B9 part switch mod, the community resource pack, as well as simple adjustable fairings. Now with all of that good to go, you'll be able to use these parts just fine, starting with our first one here. The Curtimus Exploration Upper Stage, which is just a gloriously massive fuel tank here, but with some extra features. It is actually also an unmanned command pod, has built-in reaction wheel, SAS, a battery holding 200 electric charge, fuel tanks holding 52,110 liquid hydrogen, 3,475 oxidizer, and even 60 monopropellant, and to top it all off, it's also got a built-in data transmitter and some RCS. So a whole lot packed into this thing. Now, next, if we you know, go down to the coupling category, we have a thing in here, the Curtimus Exploration Interstage, which is to help you cover up the upper stage we were just looking at. And this is a decoupler with an ejection force of 1,000 and also does have two different texture options. We'll look at those in a moment. And finally, the remaining parts are in payload, with the first one being the Curtimus Universal Stage Adapter, for cargo. Now this is a nice little uh, attachment point for you to connect for your satellites, cargos, what have you to the rest of your rocket and has built-in fairings for you to use and is also a decoupler of course with an ejection force of a 30. Now if you don't want the pre-made fairings, you can go with the Curtimus Universal Stage Adapter crew version, which is yet again another decoupler with 500 ejection force. This one though, you're gonna have to build the fairings manually using the next part, which is the Curtimus Universal Stage Adapter fairing piece, which is also a decoupler with an ejection force of 40, and you just kind of piece it together along with the previous part to create your fairing good times there. Now the final part that we do have is the spacecraft adapter jettisoned panels, which are some panels you can attach to things. They are also decouplers with an ejection force of 20. Now let's take a look at all these parts in person here, starting with the fuel tank here, the Curtimus Exploration Upper Stage, and this thing is just... Well, it's massive. I mean, look at this. It's just huge compared to the Mark 1-3 command pod and has just a lot of great detail to it, which is pretty nice. Now, you do have the attachment point up at the top as well as four down at the bottom for hooking engines into. And there's also that middle attachment point in there. And that is meant to go along with, oh boy, no wrong category there to coupling this interstage part here if we pop that on. Very nice there. Very nice on the texturing. I love them! Weird little... It reminds me of a Minecraft chicken. I don't know why, but there's that thing on there. And it's... It's certainly there. <laughs> and of course, our flag for whatever you are using in uh, the game here. Now the top section, the upper stage, does not have any configurable textures, but the interstage bit does, where we have either bare foam or a painted one here, which then loses the weird Minecraft chicken thing. But uh, still two options for whatever you're going for. Very nice indeed. Now let's pop that off and indeed pop this part off too and head back up to just the pod and down to a payload where with the first 
Universal Stage Adapter for Cargo. Again, has the it's the one with the built-in fairing, so if we attach that straight on to our command pod there, well, we've got fairings pre-built that we can work with. Now, you can, of course, adjust it, like adding different numbers of segments to elongate it even further on up to 10 segments, down from the just basic one here, which is pretty nice. And, of course, the usual open or close view, so you can see what it's going to look like. Same with the opaque or transparent. Now, the fun part with this one is we have the ability to change the actual base down here, making it useful for a lot of different missions. The default is the 3.125 meters size base but we do also have a 2.5 meter better matching with our actually if we open that up to give you a better look better matching up with our mark 1-3 command pod we also do have a 1.875 meter base as well as a 1.25 meter base which is pretty neat there so you can adjust it for your payload now if we pop that off and come over to the uh universal stage adapter crew one this one, again, has a lot more ejection force than the previous, but does have to be used along with the stage adapter fairings, as you can see here. And there are four attachment points along the side of this thing for you to hook those to, to create your fairing. Now, you're going to have the same uh, options with the base, which is pretty neat there. So you got the 3.125, the 2.5, the 1.875, and the 1.25 meter size bases, which is is always nice for whatever payload you got. And yeah, finally just these spacecraft adapter jettison panels, which are panels that you can hook onto things. There you go, a panel. <laughs> it's there, it's there. Now my personal favorite thing about this entire pack though is this Curtimus Exploration upper stage. Now, if I actually do bring back, uh, I believe, just the redirect stuff, there is a similar stage, the dual bulkhead one. Very similar in design and look to it. Uh, the coloration is, of course, a lot different, as you can see here, and it is much smaller. And it's basically just a souped-up version of it, but that also does have a lot of additional options. This uh, bulkhead one is just for fuel. This Curtimus Exploration Unmanned Command Pod and just all the various bells and whistles for this thing. It is pretty darn useful. So let's go take a look at these things in use out in the world where I've got just a small little crappy ship waiting for us on the launch pad there. So let's go grab the Curtis Program one. And we'll uh, pop off the fairing here because, well, if I pop this thing straight into space, the fairings immediately disappear. So let's at least show off of those. They eject like, well, let's be honest, basically every other fairing that does exist in the game. So let's deploy that. Boom. They go away. Lovely. And we've got ourselves a much larger command pod, the Mark 2-3 from Redirect. And let's actually get this thing into space before it wobbles its way off the launch pad. That's new. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go, God. There we go. <laughs> Just before it fell over. Excellent, excellent. Now, this thing does have built-in SAS, though. Uh, oh, yes, and the RCS built-in, too, so it can very nicely and easily maneuver itself without any other additional bits and bobs, which is always good. And now that we have uh, dropped the fairings, we can, of course, drop this interstage bit there, launching away, revealing the rest of our glorious upper stage here. Very nice indeed. I do like uh, just all the little fun little parts about this, and I always did enjoy the redirect mod, so having some cool new parts being added into that to help you build more interesting things in this game. Again, in this case, you know, the a recreation of the SLS Block 1B. You know, it's just nice to have these additional things around. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's really all there. Well, I guess I could also show off the decoupler there. Woo, yay. Look, we've decoupled. Good times. <laughs> that is really all there is to go over with this mod pack, though. It's just a simple little selection of view parts to help fill out the redirects selection even more. So if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you know, look at the link in the description as per usual. But then, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!